My name's Penny Rudd, I'm the Registrar and the Internships Coordinator at Chester Zoo. The placement scheme is absolutely invaluable because it gives us a chance to have a look at people and it gives the students a chance to decide whether this is really what they want to do. What we're looking for is someone very committed to potentially working in a zoo environment. Um, we're looking for um, students who have got a lot of enthusiasm, um, some background knowledge already, um, who are undertaking a degree which is of a relevant subject, looking for somebody who can obey the rules and regulations um, and somebody who has a thirst and an enthusiasm to do this sort of work. Well with both um, Ben and Nick this year they were very organised at getting their placements arranged early because we book quite a long way ahead for our placements. They also um, both showed immense enthusiasm um, at interview. They, they, they were zoo focused, they clearly want to try this as a career. It's such a very competitive business to get into. The benefits for the students are that they get a real taster of what um, life in a zoo is like, the real thing, not what they just think it's going to be. They get um, an idea of the discipline needed to work in a, an environment which is very regulated very strongly. So we teach them best uh, working practices, safe working practices. They need to be able to have the right attitude, be here on time. They need to have good communication skills with their team members. One of the benefits for the students is that they um, have Chester Zoo on their CV. You can't get better than that. Um, really in the zoo world. They also get a reference and they get contacts and contacts cannot be underestimated in a business that's so competitive. Having Chester Zoo on your CV at any point, like the name is really well renowned, people know the name of Chester Zoo and because of the level of the internship here, like you've got a certain level of um, almost like independence so you are always near somebody but you have got like you do have to work on your own to a certain extent and there's a lot of uh, responsibility that you've got. So taking that with you, I think people know that it's a high level of an internship. You've got a lot of experience, quite confident, but you can also work on your own if you need to. Uh, I think the main advice I'd give to other people is if you've got a part-time job alongside it, try to lower your hours if you can, or try to work up so you can save money beforehand. I've got two jobs to work alongside this, and the time is difficult to kind of manage them both. Uh, the main things I think I've learned is how to kind of like plan my time better. I think I've developed my time management a lot more. With early morning starts, and being able to kind of plan what tasks I'm doing throughout the day, I think it's helped me to kind of like organise myself better. I'd say you have to apply early. Um, you have to be dedicated when you get here. There's no point wasting your time while you're here. Um, you're here to learn and to make the most of the experience. During my placement here, I've developed my communication skills. I've built on my teamwork um, and team building skills. And I've um, learned a lot about day-to-day -day animal husbandry. The two students we've had this year have been fantastic. They've met all of our expectations and mainly exceeded them as well. The benefits for us are vast. We get to see the potential employees of the future. We also get to um, show them our industry and they get to learn just how we work and hopefully take those skills into the future. I think there are many benefits for the students coming to Chester Zoo. Um, they get to know a routine, they get to know about work-life balance and they also get to know how an institution like Chester Zoo works and how somebody in their position could fit into an organisation such as ours. We have had students in the past who have worked with us on a work-based learning who've come back later on to do much longer one-year internships for example which does lead very much more often into full-time work in zoos. I am a former student of the University of Chester and I did take part in the work-based learning scheme um, and I definitely feel, for me, it was a massive help. It was on my CV, it gave me the skills that I could use to go forward into the career that I have and it's meant that it's one small part of a very um, tough time to get this job but I now have the job of my dreams and I wouldn't change it for anything. <laughs>